Hi, welcome to another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a U.S. postage stamp. So what you want to do is uh, <laughs> zoom out to 100%. And uh, I have everything set up so that my width is at 620, my height is 450, and I always show my border on top and I get rid of the shadow because it's annoying. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to go and grab your uh, rectangle tool make a rectangle and give it a, a width of about 300 pixels well not about 300 pixels and give it a height I'm sorry I'm completely stupid right now let's undo both of what I just did it's getting late and I'm tired 300 for the width and the height you want to be 400 and let's go ahead and we'll center that within the page. Very good. Now what we can do is we can go to path, do an object to path on that. So that now we can manipulate the nodes here. Select these two nodes and uh, you want to go and insert nodes six times. It'll insert nodes at the midpoint. And very good. Now we can zoom in and uh, starting from the top you want the third one from the top, select that, hold the shift button, and every third node you want to select. So just go along and do that. Your eyes will play tricks on you and stuff, but it's not too bad. And scroll down a little bit here. There we go. Now hit Alt and right arrow button five times. And let's smooth them out here. Now we need to go to the other side and we need to select these guys. And do the same thing again. Six times, insert nodes. Okay. Now again, third from the top, select that and then hit Shift and every third node, I want you to select that. Oh boy, yeah, this is this is pretty tedious work. Wish there was a better way to do it. And there probably is, but I, I just haven't thought of it. There we go. And move that in five. And smooth those out. Now we can do the top. Let's go and select these two guys six times again and we'll want to zoom in so that we can see what we're doing here third from the left and every third one hit shift and select it man there's got to be a better way again yeah if you find this to be a little monotonous you can uh, skip past this part on the video but this won't take too much longer to do. And what we want to do here, since the top is just a little bit um, smaller, we want to kind of make it look at least a little bit deeper, at least give it that impression. So I'm going to move this down. I'm going to press the Alt button and hit the Down button seven times. And smooth it out. And so there, it looks similar. It, it's, it's good enough. It'll it'll fake most people out. Now let's do the last side and there you go and again every third one your hand actually starts getting pretty good at figuring out how far to move for the third one well until you say it and then you start screwing up and move that up seven. Smooth them out. Now you'll notice when I zoom out that those corners don't look right. So what you can do, uh, what I do, is ah, go in and ah, you want to grab the first indent there and just delete it 
and move these little nodes back. I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so you can see better. Move those in and I'm going to do that on this side too. Just hit the delete button and swing these arms back to their origin or close to their origin. Do the same thing over here. Move that guy back and get that guy. Yeah, this is, this is really not a hard tutorial to do. It's just uh, all the little things that you got to do here to make it look decent. Okay. Almost there. 75% of the way done. And get this side. Delete. Okay, there we go. This come oh, zoomed out a little too far. Coming along pretty good here. So now what you need is you need a dead person to throw on a stamp because that's usually who goes on stamps are dead people. So I just dragged from my desktop picture of Jimi Hendrix. He's dead. So I'm gonna zoom in. And actually, I'm going to press Control Shift and click on this arrow so I can proportionally scale him down a little bit and eh, maybe up just a little. I'm going to center him, go to Line Distribute, center him in the center of the page. And I don't quite like how he's a little bit too far down here. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay. So it's too much of a gap here, so I'm just going to hit Shift and uh, stretch him up just a little bit until I like it. And that looks pretty good. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and uh, use our text tool and uh, so that this looks good for a while. Um, you know, postage stamps are what, 43, 44 cents, something like that. Um, I'm gonna make this tutorial last a while, you know, make it look good, so uh, pick a number that's bigger than 44, 43, and that'll be 69. So this is going to be a 69 cent stamp. We're going to want to make that white because it's going to go over top of Jimmy and uh, that picture is pretty dark. So that'll stand out pretty good. Now you need your, <coughs> excuse me, you need your uh, character map tool. Uh, so if you go to your start menu and go to all programs, I realize you can't see this, but I'm just going to tell you how to do it. Uh, start menu, programs, accessories, go down to system tools, there's the character map, and there's the map. That's where you can get your scent sign, and hit select and copy it. So it's in your buffer now, and then go back in, click on your uh, text box there, double click on it, and then hit control V to paste it in. So there's our 69 cent Jimi Hendrix stamp, but it doesn't look quite right yet because this should be white. So I'm going to make that white because that's how the edges look on a stamp and now you can't see it. So I'm going to go and change the background so that it's black and so you can really see it. So there is our 69 cent Jimi Hendrix US postage stamp. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.